Hi, I'm Kate Oates, and today's reel is all about teaching you how to make this amazing messy bun. Yeah, you got me. I was totally kidding. It's, it's about sweaters per use. I wanted to show off my favorite style of construction, which is top down set in seamless leaves. Look at how lovely the shoulders fit. Hi guys, I'm glad you're here to learn more about this method of construction. Please note that this is based around uh, the way that I work top down satin sleeves. So it may or may not work with the pattern that you're looking at, but if you're looking at a Kato pattern, it should line right up with the instructions that are written. First, you'll be knitting across the left front stitches that you worked at the end of the tab, then picking up stitches along that vertical edge for the sleeves, knitting across the provisionally cast on stitches, which become the back. Then you're going to cast on a whole bunch of stitches right there for the back neck, according to your size. Finally, you're going to find the provisionally cast on edge on your other shoulder tab, and you're going to knit across those stitches. Then you do your vertical sleeve pickup again, and finally knit the front stitches remaining on your tab. The next video is gonna jump right into the join. So hit pause if you wanna read these tips before getting started.
So what we're looking at here is the join after, or I'm, I should say this is the row after the join has been completed. I've purled one row just so that you could see the pieces a little bit better. I'm gonna flip it around because that will make this area up here, this is the center front, which for this design, it's open right now because we've got neck shaping and things to go before we combine. So each here is fronts. These are our sleeves that were picked up along the vertical edges of the shoulder tab. These are the stitches that we provisionally cast on after the provisional cast on was removed. And then the, this is the center back cast on, which was done with a cable cast on after we worked the first shoulder. So just going in order of how you join things, let me show you one more time what each section is. Okay, so right here, this is your left front, and this is the piece of the shoulder that you had working yarn attached to before you began the joining row. So you knit across the left front, then you picked up stitches along the vertical portion of the shoulder tab and these became our sleeve stitches. Then we put another marker in here and this time we knit across the provisionally cast on stitches that made up the left back initial stitches. And then we cable cast on stitches for the back neck. Once again, we knit the provisionally cast on stitches for the shoulder as part of, as what now becomes the right back and then more stitches were picked up here along the vertical edge of the shoulder tab for the sleeve so for your right sleeve and then when we get finally back around these were the stitches that were left at the very end of working on the right shoulder tab so the smaller number of stitches than was on the back so once you have this all set up you'll see in the following rounds of your pattern uh, no matter which set in sleeve design pattern this is it's going to have you start working shaping and the shaping is going to either happen you know on the neckline edge or close here to this this section different differences and depending on the design and how the shaping needs to go forward um, you might be increasing in some sections and have a break in some sections it's very important in these kind of designs to pay attention to what your size is doing because often in order to properly grade it each, each section is going to have a different number of repeats happening at different ratios. So you might be doing one every four rows, one every two rows, but you just got to track that for your one size and you should get it just fine. Little white Cardi. Same deal here. So pretty, so tailored, and it's got some fun spin. Julie Twist! Twist and shout! My very first top down set and sleeve design was just Nicole. Always near and dear. The original, Jess Nicole. Jess Nicole! And this here is Naveen with a little bit of a sad story. I may have accidentally felt at the front a little bit in the wash, but. Hilo? Yeah? Naveen!